Up ahead. Looks like there's a survivor. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for film. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big eyes obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. You gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's hut, daughter? Hut, 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 hut. What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. If we'd been here, we would have been torched like the rest of these saps. Well, perhaps had we arrived sooner, we would have been able to save them. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Finders keepers! Hey! You better not be taking anything valuable, you little weasel! Relax! Everything good's already been burnt to a crisp. Ooh, except this. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. in record time. There you go. Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day. It shall mark our ultimate conquest or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. And it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. All right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Tripper, considering Boom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. Whoa! Hey, Keith! The ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! Ah! <laughs> Have you lost your fucking mind? Speed our deaths be mused! <laughs> Woo! Uh, uh, Larkin! <laughs> Whee! Well, that takes care.
care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Boom up there. Look on the bright side. You may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. We've still got to patch up the Milano. Eh, she'll be all right. I quill-proof the underbelly after Seknar. He's got a knack for wrecking stuff. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Tin Fine Boom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill, go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's nap time! Oh, Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom, we're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. Blood thickens in anticipation of our great combat. Gross. Of course he means literally. It's Drax. Naturally, Tathian anatomy is built for combat down to the cellular level. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Too close! 
your maker! Feel free to give up, fool! Who would ever see himself in surrender?
infant! Doom has fallen! We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... Murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds, screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. The... I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Then we found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock. We'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking them? 
<laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Uh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tools. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. I Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production, or it's not just a rash, or yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you were able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Whew, that was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no. Not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good, because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. <laughs> Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. Hey, Rocket. Working on something? I'm always working on something. How about working on my stuff, too? I think I can handle it. Okay, let's make some flarkin' cool stuff. All that effort and nothing shiny to show for it. Anything else before I go back to my own stuff? Hey, uh, bug lady, you see anything about this mission we should know about? I don't see much, or rather I see too much. So many realities converging? Does Lady Hellbender ever stand us up? Only in a few versions. Usually when Star Guy does a bad speech. Oh, um, and also in one version where he grabs her butt. Fine, fine, I'll make you dumb stuff. Just tell me what you want. You don't pay me enough, Quill.
Man, this thing is ugly. Thought we could use it if we ever need to hide our identity during a job or something. First of all, a Glarnot mask ain't no identity. Glarnot? They're that gang from the Planet of the Rain's Emeralds or something, right? Or am I confusing them? It's diamonds. Oh, yeah. And B, there's only two jobs I've ever needed a mask. The time me and Groot knocked over a top secret lab. Really? Oh, yeah. The other time was when I borrowed a Glarnot mask and accidentally stole Groot from the collector. How'd you accidentally steal Groot? You have to understand, Quill. I was on the run back then. The war was still raging strong, and then Kree scientists weren't exactly happy I left Halfworld. I had to keep a low profile. By robbing the Collector? I was broke! And no offense, but the way the Collector plasters his face all over nowhere like he owns the place. He doesn't own the place. Someone had to knock him off his stupid flarkin pedestal. Ah, uh, the fact that I was drunk when I did it just makes it funnier. Is there a, a bounty out for you that I should know about? Relax. Anyways, I lifted one of them stupid Glarnot masks from some passed out jerk at Mantlos, stumbled my way to the Collector's Emporium, put on the mask, flashed some shiny rocks I found, and when his assistant's back was turned, I punked him on the head. <laughs> oh, you're unbelievable. I know. It was gravy after that. Once I was sure he was out, I started cleaning out the place. Woke up the next morning on a stolen transport with a bag of loot and Groot. Uh, of course, he was just a baby back then. Barely taller than a weed. Aww, baby Groot. I knew right then and there that I had to take care of him. A cage ain't no place for guys like us. We've been partners in crime ever since. That, I believe. Eh, believe what you want, Quill. Truth is truth. When did you guys rob a secret lab? Eh, it was before we came after you. This Signog named Wheeler reached out to me and group. Wanted us to steal a bioweapon from some research lab in Arago 7. Piece of cake for a crack team like me and Groot. <laughs> wait, wait. And Groot wore a mask for this? <laughs> Man, you should have seen him, Quill. Bark naked except for the stupid mask of Thanos. It was flarkin' hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was until we realized the eggheads on Arago actually hired Wheeler to get us there. Uh, six out of ten times it's a trap. Yup. Turns out they wanted to study us. My implants, Groot's regeneration, super valuable to the right bidder. By the time I realized what was up, they'd got Groot. Locked him in a frickin' cage, Quill. Like an... like an animal. Ugh, that's... terrible. Yep, well, joke's on them. We weren't about to be turned into science experiments anytime soon, so I went with plan B. One explosive charge later, and ba-boom, we were home free. <laughs> and the bioweapon? Sold it back to Wheeler for triple the price. Nice. Yep. <sighs> Those were the days. I'll just put this back. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> 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 he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> what? What? What would he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked Unifier. <laughs> the, the Grand Humidity. <laughs> 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 And Uberi. You wish to practice hand-to-hand -hand techniques. It's still weird when you say my actual name. I am getting used to it. We've come a long way since murderous sorceress. Wasn't it what you were calling me back on my first mission with the team? Yes. At first I believed you had bewitched Peter Quill. 
I could see no other reason he would hire an assassin for a protection contract. Really? No other reason than magic? Well, you could also have seduced him. He lacks mental fortitude in the presence of women. True. If I remember right, he spent most of that protection contract flirting with the waitresses. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. Not a bad idea. We don't know what's going to happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Ugh, guns. I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Bet those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him? Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you, I'm getting Nikki out of there. No matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. In retrospect, our team was eclectic on that first mission. Oh, cute. That's from Maklu, right? Better not make toxic spores like those big ones in the forest. You're overwatering for Groot. Yeah, leave him alone. I tinker when I'm stressed, Groot waters, Gamora meditates, etc. When I'm stressed, I concentrate real hard, and sometimes I can see the birth of the universe. First, there's only one reality, and then, bam, all reality. That's kind of cool. Sir Groot, I gotta say, I don't know what you told the Katadi guardians at the cave entrance, but they were very cooperative when I came back with the villagers. I am Groot. Wow! Okay! Woo! Harsh words! Now I understand the fear in their branches. Spook them good! Alright, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm gonna barf. looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocky, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. 
while the church is out looking for the source. We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! a place to park. Our deception is working. I seem so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknaf-9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding! We are sneaking! Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive! Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady murdering spree. We're busting into sacrosanct. That landing base are way in, but there's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Piece of that guy! Direct him! Taking fire! Spaceships, monsters, made of the entire galaxy at stake! Just get us inside that flarking behemoth alive, Quill! Hurry up, Peter! The real fun's gonna be in the Crap! That's a lot of turrets! Try not to get shot, Quill! Now this is a proper dogfight! That's a hit! Ah! You're fast! Damage report! Stop getting ahead in the wrong place! You sure you can fly her? Yes! Sometimes! Hang on, maybe you should... Two arms! The enemy approaches! 